So thank you for this interview, uh, Gegard. No problem, thank let's, you. So let's start. So uh, Gegard, you are um, uh, 29 years old. Uh, you are the former Cage Warriors Dream and Strike Force champion, right? Yes. <laughs> so you'll fight soon uh, at the UFC against uh, Dan Anderson in Stockholm. Uh, it will be for the UFC fight night, uh, Gustafsson uh, Johnson. Are you excited about this fight? Yeah, very much. Because Dan Anderson is a big name, he's a legend, so it's a, it's a great fight for me. Do you think uh, the fact that Dan is returning to middleweight uh, division is a good thing for him? Do you think he will be as dangerous as he was uh, at the light heavyweight division? Well, he's always dangerous. I think uh, he will never lose his power. He's a little bit older now, but he has still the power, so he's always dangerous. So I think uh, he competed at middleweight and heavyweight, uh, light heavyweight, so he did always good. So I don't think it's a problem for him. It's uh, very funny because uh, you are, you and Dan, uh, the two former uh, Strike Force Light Heavyweight Champions to fight uh, this time. Yeah, it's exciting. I think um, for most more important for me is he has a big name and uh, uh, that's, uh, that's more important than uh, being a former champion. So you are uh, unbeaten in Europe for nearly uh, a decade. Uh, the last time you lose it was in 2005 in Finland. So um, now you, you'll fight in one of the best and of the biggest um, UFC events in Europe in front of uh, 30,000 people. Um, do you think you have enough uh, support from uh, the European uh, UFC fans, you know, such as Gustafsson and Conor McGregor? Because uh, what, what is strange is that um, you have, you know, you are a, a, the champion of three uh, major organizations uh, in the past. Um, Gustafsson didn't have uh, accomplished as uh, much as you, and that's the same for Connor. And uh, me, as I'm a big fan of you, uh, I, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I'm thinking about, oh, why uh, Giger has not as much support than uh, you know uh, Connor and, and Gustafsson? Uh, it is, well, it is, it I think is Connor uh, did, uh, is a uh, is a uh, he, he promotes himself well, and uh, he's an exciting guy. He, he finishes the fights and. Uh, of course, uh, Gustafsson is also doing very well. I think uh, once I win a couple of fights in UFC, I will be also there. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm sure. <laughs> so uh, let's talk about your last fight against uh, Jacare Souza. Uh, so unfortunately for you, you lost uh, at, the, at the third round by submission. Uh, what did you learn about uh, this fight? Well, uh, taking fights when I'm ready and not uh, rushing to, you know, nothing to take away from uh, Jaka, but uh, I, I wasn't, uh, I didn't fight to my potential at all. And uh, other than that, I, I don't want to think about that fight anymore. Okay, all right. And yeah. how is uh, your cutting and your weight uh, right now? I'm pretty good. Uh, uh, I think uh, I need five kilos, around 12 pounds, something like that. Okay. So it's not much. Good. And uh, what about your fight camp? Uh, are you satisfied with it? Yeah, very much. Uh, I think uh, um, I'm in very good shape. Uh, I did a lot of uh, uh, conditioning for this fight. And uh, because of that, I'm very, I feel very confident going to the fight that I can push hard and uh, get the W. What do you think you have uh, better than uh, Dan and Hurston? Uh, I feel like uh, I can compete against him anywhere and I feel I, I don't come short. I think I'm... I feel I'm better, of course, <laughs> and uh, it's, uh, he's tough, he's tough, uh, he has experience and he has power, so I can never underestimate him, yet, but uh, I feel I'm better on the ground and better stand-up. Of course, he will have the wrestling advantage, but uh, I'm not planning on uh, fighting uh, uh, on my back. Uh, from the two or three uh, last year, uh, what uh, did you improve the... Uh, most, you know, in your in your game plan, in your, you know, what in what sector of your game did you improve uh, uh, a lot? Well, I think uh, sometimes I perform very well and sometimes not so, and I think uh, it has a lot to do with the mental. Okay. And um, so I address that in this training camp and uh, uh, being in very good shape. Uh, it also gave gives me a lot of uh, mental confidence. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did all your fight camp uh, in the uh, Netherlands? Yes. Okay, all right. Uh, do, are you still, um, are you thinking maybe to, to, you know, to, to move from other 
countries such as USA, you know, to do fight camps? No, no, no not really. All right. Um, how many uh, fights do you plan to do uh, this year in 2015? Two to maximum three. Yeah? And two, uh, yeah, I, I just need to, to take my time to take fights. So uh, you don't expect to, uh, to have a title fight this year or maybe uh, at the end of the year, we, if you win, you, you can expect to have a title shot? No, 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 I'm far away from title shot. I think uh, I need two, two, uh, that's why I plan two to three fights this year. Hopefully I win them all and then I can think about maybe getting a title shot. Okay, perfect. Uh, there are some good uh, middleweight bouts uh, upcoming, uh, such as uh, Anderson Silva, Nick Diaz and Mashida Rokold. What are your predictions for the fight uh, of Anderson Silva and Nick Diaz? Mm, I think uh, Anderson Silva has the advantage being the heavier guy and stuff like that. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not a fight that makes sense, but I think the fans want to see. Yeah, so you think uh, Silva will, uh, will win this fight? I think so, but uh, I like Nick, Nick Diaz also, but uh, so it's, uh, uh, I think uh, the weight difference is too much. Okay, and what about the fight between Mashida and Rockhold? Also a very good fight. Um, tough to say. Yeah. <laughs> that one is tough to say. Yeah, I, I follow you on Twitter, and uh, yeah, I saw that you, you have some issues with uh, the brand uh, Fear the Fighter. Is the, the, the problem solved uh, with uh, this company? Uh, no, my manager is handling it. I don't know anymore. Uh, I'm, he, he will do all the negotiation stuff, but they haven't paid anything over yet. Yeah, it's, it's crazy uh, this, uh, what, what happened with all these fighters uh, not paid about this fight. Yeah, and yeah it's, it's, a, it's a shame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, yeah let, let's forget it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I heard also that you, you love uh, football. Uh, do you have uh, still time to play football with your friends? Yeah, once a week, sometimes twice a week. I uh, we play soccer in uh, in the gym, so uh, just uh, just fun. Yeah. And what is your favorite team? Uh, I like Bayern München, Barcelona. I like yeah. yeah. And who will win the Champions League uh, this year? Mm, I think Bayern München has a good chance, and of course Real Madrid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Geiger. We can't wait to see your fight in Sweden. Uh, a lot of French fans uh, will come to see you fighting over there. And, Thank uh, you. and as far as I'm concerned, I will be there too to, uh, to see all these beautiful fights. So uh, we wish you the best for this fight and, uh, and take care for the end of your preparation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Geiger. Bye bye. See you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.